All right, now let's move to Hugh Hefner. Besides mm. breaking down sexual barriers, Hef was a fierce advocate for civil and gay rights. As you know, he passed away at his home yesterday of natural causes. He was surrounded by all his loved ones. Flowers were placed today on his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. The man lived a full life, and over the decades, many, many celebrities were on Playboy's covers. The first issue ever was Marilyn Monroe in 1953, and F will be laid to rest next to her. He paid $75,000 for the spot back in 1992. You know, it really is fascinating to go back and look at all the covers of the magazine. Look at this one from 1978. Farrah Fawcett. This was the height of Charlie's Angels oh, fame. Yeah. This was four million copies sold. Wow. Bo Intense. Derek. This one back from 1980. Hot off her hit 10. This is without the cornrows. No cornrows, but looking <laughs> smashing. Sharon Stone. This was 1990 before Basic Instinct, but around at the time of Total Recall. Hot, 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 hot. Naomi Campbell, December 1999, and. Cindy Crawford. Cindy Crawford. I remember these pictures. Her Brits took those photographs. She was on three times, I believe. And of course, Kim Kardashian Hello. back in 2007. Remember the episode if you watched? She didn't even want to do it. I don't want to do it. And Chris was like, if you don't do it, I'm doing it. <laughs> uh, Drew Barrymore. This kind of shock fan. She was 19 years old when she posed for this. Well, even Debbie Gibson posed for Playboy, and she talked about on Access Hollywood Live today about how she played piano at Hef's infamous movie night. I nights. still can't get over it. There's Hef in his smoking jacket and all his gas going, <laughs> yeah. play something from Evita. What? Uh, yeah. yeah, oh yeah, it was awesome. Is it what we pictured? Is it just, I don't know, cigar smoke and drinking? No, and it Carpet. is like you're going to be, I don't know, maybe happy or maybe disappointed, but it's like being at your amazing old uncle's house. Oh, don't ruin what? the dream. And there's like... <laughs> Buffet dinner. No. It's very wholesome, actually. Oh. The movie night. <laughs> Not how I, I pictured it. I don't believe her. I don't believe. Uh, Pam Anderson was on the cover of Playboy more than anyone else 14 times. Fort. Her first back in 1989, and then her last when she posed was in 2016. And then today she posted this emotional video. Look at my F. In my mind, though, I always see Pamela in lingerie. Apparently, even when morning. <laughs> A lot of people know about the grotto and the game room. Well, you know you made it when you're on The Simpsons and animated Hugh Hefner in one of his many appearances he did throughout the years. Since Access first debuted in 1996, we've done countless interviews with Hef, and we went through the vaults and unearthed these gems you will truly only see here. It was 2008 when Hef took Billy on a walk down his private memory lane. Just about anyone who was anyone has stopped by the mansion, but these walls outside of his bedroom aren't talking. Did Clinton ever come up here and have some fun, closed doors? No, and if he had, I wouldn't tell you. Right. <laughs> Did Hillary? <laughs> <laughs> Of course, from the outside, it appeared the man who ruled over the Playboy empire left little to the imagination when it came to his personal life. And even in interviews, he was pretty much an open book. How important is it for you for, you know, sexual prowess to be part of your image? Can't you let that go at a, at a certain point? Or sure. Is it, sure. Have you let it go or no? No. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> no. As he told Pat O'Brien back in 1999, his image was for the most part by design. Are we all spectators then in your world? Is that? Uh... Well, to some extent, <laughs> it can be argued that I sort of created my own world and put myself center stage. Right. Yeah, I got out of the audience. You still love it like you did, you know, when you were a ripe young 50? Or I wouldn't say that it was the same as I was when I was when I was 50, but I, I you know, I, I, I'm a romantic, and I think that sex is a part. Of, the inter sexual intimacy is part of it. How long do you want to keep dating young women and running Playboy and doing this? Is there an end point? Do you think, like, you know what? When I'm when I'm 90, I'm out. I'm out when I'm dead. You know, I think that I think that, that doing what you love. Work and play is what keeps you alive. 